Greetings, Pop Pickers. Saturday is our day for Pick of the Pops on BBC Radio 2. Today, UK and US charts from this date in 1965. The week of my favorite American top 10 of all time. British artists must include the Beatles, Stones, and Kinks. Americans include Bob Dylan, the Beach Boys, and the Supremes. Papa's got a brand new bag, Zorba's Dance. We gotta get out of this place, down in the boondocks. It's the same old song, Unchained Melody. We begin in the UK, new at 33, The Small Faces, What You Gonna Do About It? Using that Solomon Burke vibe, Steve Marriott, Ronnie Lane, Ian McLacken, and Kenny Jones. The Small Faces, their first hit. What you gonna do about it? In at 33, it will go to number 14. One place above it, another new entry. This one will wind up in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it will be in our American Top 20 next hour. The Beach Boys, California Girls. Well, the East Coast girls are hip. I really dig those styles they wear. And the Southern girls with the way they talk. They knock me out when I'm down there. The Midwest farmer's daughters really make you feel all right. of September 1965. 
the week of my all-time favorite American Top Ten. And this is in it. It's new in this country at 32. The Beach Boys, California Girls. On the threshold of the Top 20 at 21, just a little bit better. Herman's Hermits. He may send you flowers, baby. American Top 10 Hits this year for Herman's Hermits. This week's Top 20 begins with the animals. From 12 to 20, we gotta get out of this place. In this sturdy old part of the city Where the sun refused to shine People tell me there ain't no use in trying And one thing I know is true You'll be dead before your time is due I know Watch my daddy in bed at time Watch his habit turn gray He's been working and slaving his life away Oh yes, I know
know it too. A favorite of the American forces in Vietnam. We gotta get out of this place. Two records that have been to number two. The Animals, this week's number 20. And at 19, down from 14, The Fortunes, their first hit. You've got your troubles. I see that worried look upon your face. You've got your troubles, I've got mine. She's found somebody else to take your place. You've got your troubles, I've got mine. I do have lost my love today. All of my dreams have flown away. Now just like you are. Sit and wonder why You've got your troubles I've got mine You need some sympathy Well, so do I You've got your troubles I've got mine She used to love me That I know Seen so long ago That we were walking And we were talking The way the lovers do Fortunes at number 19. Sir Ray Davies headlining proms in the park tonight on Radio 2 in this chart at 18 with the Kinks.
sing See My Friends, but it's called See My Friends at number 18. Don't Make My Baby Blue. Going down two to 17 for The Shadows. Vocal hit for the Shadows, Don't Make My Baby Blue. Our joint highest climber up 21 places. Ken Dodd at 16 headed for number one with Tears. Tears for souvenirs are all you left me. Tears can't mend a broken heart, I must confess. Let's forgive and forget, turn our tears of regret once more. Can't mend a broken heart, I must confess. Let's forgive and forget. Let's 
Just forgive and forget Turn our tears of regret Once more to tears of happiness Tears by Ken Dodd Tears for Everyone's Gone to the Moon by Jonathan King Out of the Top Ten from 7 to 15 Whoa, classic warning Whoa Top 20 week for Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. It will return in 1990. And will return with a taste of honey. You could be joining us for a spectacular night celebrating the last night of the proms. BBC Proms in the Park. Headlining this year, Sir Ray Davis. Also on stage, the sensational steps. Texas. Elaine Page. Gilbert O'Sullivan. Get down, get down, Sabrina get down. Turfle. The Royal Choral Society and the BBC Concert Orchestra. BBC Proms in the Park. Join Ken Bruce, Tony Blackburn and Michael Ball. This evening from 5 on BBC Radio 2. Joint highest climber up 21 to 11, the Hollies. Look through any window. Look through any window, yeah. What do you see? Smiling faces all around. Rushing through the busy town. Where do they go? Moving on their way. Walking down the highways. Apple plowing. Where do they go? Moving on their way. People with their showers and their slides. Oh, you can see 
The Hollies at number 11. The top 10 begins with Sunny. Laugh at me, up from 19. We will hear that next hour when we hear the American chart of this date. And it doesn't matter if we don't hear from Sonny right now, because we will hear from Cher right now. These are solo hits for the husband and wife duo. Up four places to number nine, the Bob Dylan song, All I Really Want to Do. Number nine. In the midst of all the Bob Dylan songs and the Sonny and or Cher hits, shall we do Zorba's Dance?
Marcella Minerby, down two to number eight. American Top Ten, Bob Dylan himself with Like a Rolling Stone, up three to six. And the Beatles down three to five with Help. Horst Jankowski, German pianist and band leader, A Walk in the Black Forest at number four. At number four, the top three remain. Jazz, blues, country, all became what we generally call pop music, but it all came from somewhere. With a new tradition, what we are trying to do is make connections between the now and the music that we grew up with. Ricky Ross. One of the magical things about pop music is when it drops into someone's world, it feels like that thing has never happened before and it's not come from anywhere and that's what's wonderfully great about pop music blame, yeah. join me ricky ross for my new tradition monday night from 10 on bbc radio 2 
desolation will make me miss you less, my darling. original demo was by Dion Warwick. The first American hit by Jerry Butler. Now it's the Walker Brothers from 8 to 3. Make it easy on yourself. That is a future number one. This is last week's number one. Now at 2. I got you, babe. Sonny and Cher. They say we're young and we don't know. We won't find out till we grow. Well, I don't know if all that's true. You got me, baby, I got you, baby. I got you, baby. I got you, baby. They say our love won't pay the rent. Before it's earned, our money's all been spent. I guess that's so we don't have a plot. But at least I'm sure of all the things we got Babe I got you, babe I got you, babe I got flowers In the spring I got you To wear my ring Put your little hand in mine There ain't no hill or mountain We can't climb Babe I got you, babe I got you, babe I got you to hold my hand in the top 10 individually they are in the top 10 together 
They are in the American top ten with this week's number two, last week's one, Sunny and Cher. I got you, babe. The top 20, the 9th of September, 1965. The animals down 8 to 20. we got to get out of this place. The fortunes down 5 to 19. You've got your troubles. And the kinks down 8 to 18. See my friend. Don't make my baby blue. The shadows down 2 to 17. And up 21 places to 16. Ken Dodd, tears. Everyone's gone to the moon. And Jonathan King's gone down 8 places to 15. Unchained Melody up 7 to 14 for the Righteous Brothers. The Honeycombs down 3 to 13. That's the way. What's new, Pussycat? Tom Jones down 1 to number 12. Look through any window. The Hollies up 21 to number 11. The top 10 begins with Sunny up 9 with Laugh at Me and continues with Cher up 4 at 9. All I really want to do. Marcelo Manerbe's Zorba's Dance down 2 to number 8. All I really want to do. The Birds down 3 to 7. And Bob Dylan up 3 places to number 6. Like a Rolling Stone. And the former number one, Help by the Beatles, is down three places to this week's number five. Last week, five. Now at four, A Walk in the Black Forest. Hort Jankowski. The Walker Brothers up five places to number three. Make it easy on yourself. Sonny and Cher down one to number two. I got you, babe. That means... We have a new number one. Week one of two. It will be an American number one. For the Rolling Stones, I can't get no satisfaction.
The Rolling Stones are number one this date in 1965 with I Can't Get No Satisfaction. The American hits of this date are next on Pick of the Pops. I'm Paul Gambaccini. This is Radio 2, online on digital radio and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 2 o'clock. This is James Kelly. Officials in Cuba say Hurricane Irma has caused significant damage. The storm is hitting the north of the country with winds of up to 130 miles an hour after devastating other Caribbean islands. More than a million Cubans have been forced to leave their homes. In the US, nearly six million people in Florida, about a quarter of the population, have been told to evacuate with Hurricane Irma forecast to reach the state tomorrow. There have been big traffic jams as residents of southern Florida travel north. Our correspondent, Jane O'Brien, sent this report from Miami. The largest evacuation in Florida's history is underway as residents flee the wrath of Irma. The hurricane has been slightly downgraded to a Category 4 and has shifted westward. But with sustained winds of 155 miles an hour, it is still packing a devastating punch. Nearly 6 million people have been asked to leave their homes, causing water and petrol shortages across the state. Miami has become a ghost town, although some people have still refused to leave. For them, it's probably too late. Off the coast of Florida, winds are already strengthening and the storm's full impact is expected in the early hours of Sunday. Soldiers have been deployed in southern Mexico to help people affected by the most powerful earthquake to hit the country in nearly a century. More than 60 people are known to have died. A huge search is continuing for survivors. Amnesty International says it has evidence that the army in Myanmar has planted landmines along its border with Bangladesh, where huge numbers of Rohingya Muslims have fled. Over the past two weeks, nearly 300,000 Rohingyas have escaped violence in Myanmar. The government has blamed what it says are armed Rohingyas for the problems. Myanmar's Minister for Social Welfare Relief and Resettlement, Dr Win Mayatai, said people from all ethnic backgrounds were fleeing. No, not only Muslims are fleeing, but also the Rakhine people and people of all ethnicities. They're gathering in some places because they fear the terrorists. They are fleeing because they fear the terrorists. Because the terrorist attack started on the 25th of August and we've had continuous attacks since then. Cambridge University is looking at whether to allow students to type their exams because their handwriting is often too hard to read. Simon Ponsford reports. There could soon be a new sound in exam rooms at Cambridge University, the tap of keyboards rather than the more familiar rustling of papers. Lecturers say that neat student handwriting is becoming a lost art. Sometimes examiners can barely read it at all. In fact, some students have been forced to come back to college and read their answers out loud so their work can be marked. Ditching handwritten exams at Cambridge would bring more than 800 years of tradition to an end. Simon Ponsford reporting. And that's the BBC News at three minutes past two, or next at three.